Hi everybody, this is Dan Grady. I'm just doing a quick follow-up video to my uh, mapping shapes to 3D objects using invisible geometry video. Sorry, that's kind of a mouthful. <laughs> um, in my original video, I showed a visual example of a spiral mapped to an invisible sphere, like I have pictured here. Um, I didn't sh go by step-by-step step how to do that in my original video, and even though it, it uses the same techniques I showed, um, some of you weren't getting the same results and maybe wanted to see a little uh, more in-depth uh, instructions on how to do this. So I'm going to do that really quick today, and hopefully you can get a beautiful looking, almost blown glass looking spiral like this um, on your own. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, the spiral, the shape that we're going to be mapping to our invisible sphere. Um, in your tools panel, I, I dock mine to the right, you might have it somewhere else, but if you don't have it on your screen, you go up to Window, Tools. Um, which, what I want you to do is I want you to find the spiral tool. The spiral tool is a pretty neat uh, little tool. Um, it might be hidden. If it is, click that same area, a little box flyout will happen, and you'll see your spiral tool. So we're going to be using that. And then click and drag out a spiral. Now mine is already looking pretty full. Yours probably won't look like that. It'll probably look something like, I don't know, like kind of like that maybe. I think it's kind of like that by default. Um, this is too small a spiral for us to map. And so what I want you to do is by holding the, the mouse or your, your stylus down, um, I want you to hold the command, command button on a Mac. Uh, control on a PC, and you will see it could transform the spiral live like that. We could see our live little preview of how our spiral is going to turn out. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this pretty tight to about right there. And then what I want you to do is I want you to, using the arrow keys on your keyboard, push up to add additional segments to our piece, about like that. Okay. I think my original one I used blue in my original video too, so let's do a cool red one. Alright, just for a little extra effect I guess you could say I'm gonna maybe go up to my variable width profiles if you have that. I think it's like CS5 and above I wanna say. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that one. I'm gonna use this tapering right here and let's also increase the stroke a bit right up here to maybe about right there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and expand this. Um, I don't think you need to do that necessarily to achieve this effect. I just have a habit of expanding all my, my uh, strokes when I'm finished with them. So I'm going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance. You'll see the anchor points go to the outside of the shape, just like that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to turn this spiral into a symbol because you need you can only map symbols to, uh, to, art, to 3D artwork. In Illustrator. So what we want to do is we want to go up to Window, Symbol. I'll bring up my symbols, and I'm simply going to take this object I I, I created. And I'm going to drag it right into the Symbols panel. Okay, let's make sure it is type, graphic type. Um, that probably won't matter either. Um, this is primarily for Flash, but it's good since it is a graphic, we will say it is a graphic. You can name your symbol if you'd like. I uh, don't really need to, but sometimes it's important if you're mapping lots of artwork to a shape, you might want those named because named you can't tell from the thumbnails what they might be because they're pretty small. So we'll, this, we'll call this crazy, awesome, cool, spiral dingy. All right, that's a great name. You might not need to uh, go into that in-depth of naming, but that's how I roll. Okay, so now that we have our symbol, now I can delete this. I don't need it. Um, actually, I'll bring it back, Control-Z, because I want to make a an ellipse, the shape that we're going to be mapping this artwork to. I want it to be about the same size as that original spiral I made, so it's a nice map. Okay. That looks good. I'll delete that now. And I'm going to be cutting this ellipse in half because we're going to be revolving it in 3D space. It's better to use a stroke instead of a fill. 
So I'll give that a red stroke. And there's different ways of doing this, but I simply like to just hit C, bring up the scissors, and cut those middle anchor points. You, sh you should see them, the guides. Cut those two anchor points. If you don't get right on it, it, it yells at you because it's, it's saying you missed it. I think I got it. Okay, yes, I did. All right, could delete that, we don't need it. With our selection tool, select it and go up to Effect, 3D, Revolve. All right, that'll bring up our 3D Revolve options. We want to preview it. Oh, there's our beautiful red ball of doom. And we're going to go to Map Artwork. Up here you'll see the symbol. All right, set to none right now. We want to find our crazy awesome dot dot dot. It cut off my name. Okay, make sure that it's scaled to fit. Blang, it's huge now. You can kind of see it over here. It's starting to, hey, that looks pretty cool. Even if out the invisible geometry, that's a pretty neat little look right there. Um, but for this video, we want invisible geometry. If you don't hit it, it's not gonna happen. And there's our preview. It's looking pretty freaking awesome. To make it have a better 3D look, make sure you click Shade Artwork. There we go. That is looking bangerang. All right, now um, in the middle of the spiral, it kind of tightens in a bit. I don't really like that area. I'm, on the original, I moved it to the side too. So I'm just gonna take this and move it over so it's kind of hidden. There we go. And you can revolve this and play around with it until you get something you like, but hit OK. Let me scale it up. Whoa, make sure you hold Shift. Scale it proportionally. Well, that's interesting. It won't scale it because I am now making it larger than my original shape. So that's why you like to make it the same shape as your original object. So it looks good if you want to expand it. Uh, uh, if you want to scale up, you go to Object Expand. There we go. Now I should be able to scale it up yet. Yeah, no problem now. Okay, there are my cool shapes. How about we put them over each other and add some opacity to get some ultimate radness. That looks horrible. But now you know how to make a really cool looking 3D spiral mapped to an invisible sphere in Adobe Illustrator. See you next time.